welcome back to new tutorial in this tutorial i'm going to be showing how to add the health bars to the shapes and probably the player i don't know if i'll make the player take damage yet but let's see um also i, I mean let's get started um so yeah the first thing we're gonna do is go oh, sorry uh the first thing we're gonna do is go into the shapes oh i mean into the pen and we're gonna make a new block um so let's go and make a new block call it draw shapes health bars and then click run without screen refresh then um sorry i have something on my computer all right okay then what we're gonna do is just put this over here somewhere and then find the tick and put it in the tick whoops no, that's not right. yeah this one and we can just do it um last so it's on top of everything then let's go back to the jaw shapes health bars okay and make sp some space all right um so now what we're gonna do is let's set this shape let's make some new variables called shapes um health bar width Uh, for all sprites and then shapes health bar oh we'll just shapes health how about index um for all sprites and we're just gonna unshow these then we're gonna set this one to be uh the the width um to be 25 and then the index to just be one then what we're gonna do is repeat um, the length of uh, shapes health or any shapes list pretty much. So shapes health. Then we're gonna say um, if, and then we're gonna put an and, and then we'll say greater than so if um, item shapes health index, the index basically just the index of shapes health is um, greater than zero, and and it is also less um, less than the max health. So let's get less than this and then change this to be max health so if it's also less than the max health then what we're gonna do is um also we have to make sure also it's dead equals no um the shape's dead equals no just to be safe i mean i don't know but i had it in my other project so i'm just gonna do it this way equal uh equals no um, so that's no, and then we're gonna say if else, and then shape type. So we have, whoops, we're gonna have different types, of course. So we'll just say shapes type is um, equal to square. I always spell square wrong. I don't think I spelled it wrong that time. Um, then, um, yeah, so then we're gonna say, well, actually, we don't need an if else right now. We're just gonna say if, and then we're gonna say um, pen up. So we're gonna put the pen off the screen, and then we're gonna set the pen size to be like 13. So this is gonna make like the line, and then there's gonna be like a green line over it. So then set the pen color to be white. Um, And then we can go to, and then we're gonna say, um, we're gonna put a minus and another minus, and we're gonna say um, minus the health bar width on the far right. And then we're gonna say shapes X minus scroll X. So it goes basically um, 
like item of shape sex. Um, so it goes where the shape is because we don't want it to just be like in the middle of the screen. So we have to do this positioning for the scrolling. Then just duplicate it and it's basically the same thing for the Y. Just make sure to change this to be shapes Y and change this to be scroll Y. Um, and also for the Y, we're not gonna do the width this time. We're just gonna say like minus like 30. So it's under the shape. Now, what we can do is say pen down. So we can put the pen down on the screen. Um, whoops. And then we will go to, again, this time we will add the shape self bar width. So we'll just go over and that will pretty much be it for the white line under it. So now if we start the thing, oh, let me go ahead and uh, add this uh, change in here. We should have changed the health, health index by one. So, let's find some shapes here. I feel like sometimes they don't spawn, but I guess that's just a bug because I don't know why they wouldn't spawn. Um, but, let's go find some. Oh, here's one. And it's not drawing it, but I feel like shapes dead is no. Oh, I set this to 25. Set that to 1. Whoops. Okay, that was the problem. Now, there should be health bars under them. Now, we just have to make a green line to show how much health they have left. So, let's go ahead and say, um, set the brightness effect on the pen right here to be like 90. And then, we can say pen up. And then, go to... Again, just duplicate this. Whoops. <laughs> just duplicate this. Um, whoops. I'm just trying to put it in there. All right, do this. And then we will say, yeah, just this. And basically the same thing. And then we're going to set the pen size to be four. And then put the pen down. Then what we're going to do is change the X by the shapes health bar width times two because remember this is like centered under it so we have to multiply it by two because it's it's subtracting oh yeah this is supposed to be subtracting this is subtracting um the shapes health bar width so it doesn't just go it has to go double the width because it's already going back the width so it has to go back to the middle and then go the rest of the width so i don't know if that made sense but anyways um shapes health bar width times two and then we'll put the pen up again and set the pen color to be green um just any green and then set the pen color effect this time to be um, the item. So get a, well, let's just, yeah, let's just do it this way. Let's get a times and then a divide. And then we'll say this times 35. So we're going to make it kind of turn red um, when it like is getting hit a bunch. It'll like fade sort of like into a red color so anyways we'll just do this uh whoops no all of this well actually wait oh no not that um we'll just get the shapes health divided by um the shapes max health i think so basically the percent of health it's gonna have so like what out of what and then times 35 is gonna be the color so this will make it be red when it has low health and green when it has high health and then we set the pen size to be five Oops. Um, oh and you can kind of see it's kind of coming together there so we'll set the pen size to be five then and I don't know why Wait, okay never mind 
Um, I don't know if I'm doing this the right way, but I forget. But yeah, just duplicate this, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yeah, yeah, never mind. Duplicate this and put this as a, um, yeah, the same thing here. Um, yeah, but this time, wait, sorry. Um, where, okay. Okay, yeah, just do this, sorry. And then do, um, we're gonna put the pen down then. And then we're gonna go to, this time it's gonna be a little different. We're gonna do, um, a divided by, and it's gonna be um, shapes health. So the shapes index of shape health. When I say shape health, I mean um, in, like the part of the list. So like make sure you're still using, like you're not just saying the shapes health variable. You shouldn't even be able to access it in this spread actually. And then put a divided by, and then uh, the shapes max health right here. And then, what we're gonna do is do the health bar width times two. So divided by the health bar width times two. So where's health bar width? Um, yeah, and then times two. So like this. And the Y is gonna be, oh, sorry. It shouldn't be a go-to. Um, just change this to be a change X by and drag this in here. Then we're gonna say pen up, and let's test out our new shapes health bar. Um, so let's go ahead and press play. And now, when we shoot it, uh-oh. Okay, um, I think it's going so far because we, I think we're changing the, I think it's probably this. Oh, this is shapes X. This is supposed to be shapes health. Sorry, my bad. I think I said shapes health, but I didn't change it. All right, it should be like this. Now it should work. And as you can see, the shapes lose health and now we can kill them. But the player still has to lose health when we, um, when the shapes, when it touches the shapes. So I don't know if I can add that whole thing, but I like the whole, um, health bar for the player. I think that'll be in the next video, but I will add the player being able to take damage So let's say let's make a new um, let's just go to the the, mm, the Player movement here and we can say If the um, oh, yeah, we can make an if else here and then, well, actually, yeah, we can uh, set if, um, yeah, let's set the player speed. I don't know if this will work, but let's try doing it like this. Set the player speed to be this. Well, actually, no. Set, uh, okay. No, that's not gonna work, actually. Let's just say, um, um, yeah, I'll just do it this way. Let's just say if else, and then touching shapes. Oh, actually, yeah, we can say, well, actually, uh, okay. Um, Make a new sprite and call it player emulator. So this is gonna be the player hitbox basically. And then what we can do is, well, actually, yeah. Then what we can do, is go ahead and just like copy this paste set this to be oh don't need that add there's an ad i don't know if you see it but um there all right and then once i clicked set size to be however big the player is like 30 uh 45 oh not five 45 okay 50 do this and then forever go to um 
and then minus minus is is player x okay yeah player x minus scroll x and player y minus scroll y and set ghost effect to 100 here at the beginning we're going to set the ghost effect to be 100 and we're also going to say show and so it's like this Touching shapes. Um, and then if else. And then touching shapes. Then set it to be true or false. So I'll just set it to yes or no. Um, yeah. So set touching shapes. To the Y and then N. So now we know if it's touching the shapes. And then we'll say if else it equals Y. Oh, I'll put this in here too. Put this down here and then duplicate it. If it equals yes, then. Yeah, if it equals y, then we're gonna say speed divided by two, so it goes slower if it's in the shapes. So it's gonna be, you're kind of trapped if you get stuck in there, so you don't wanna get stuck in the shapes. So let's run this. Yeah, so you get kind of stuck in there. And then what we can do, is do we have a player health variable? I always forget. All right, we can say if touching the player emulator here in like, so how did we do this? Oh yeah, we can just basically duplicate this and say touching player emulator and we can do this. Then change the player health. Where's player health? Player health. By, and do shapes have damage yet? Okay, they don't. So we'll just do 10 damage for, uh, uh, 5 damage for these. Oh, 10. Uh, shapes damage. Um, so we have a shapes damage list now. We're gonna add 10 to shapes damage. Right, and then delete all of shapes damage. There. Then we can say change player health by item clone ID of shapes damage. Wait one second. Well, oh, wait. Yeah, one second. So actually, 0.5 seconds. So yeah. Now, um, we can say in the when flag clicked, we can say um, if, um, and then the player health is less than one. Is less than one then we will set game over to be one and then the game will just be over then we will have a way that you can restart the game but for now let's just test it and make sure that you can lose the game and we'll have a game over screen and your score and then there'll be like a way to restart let's just try then the game ends so that's gonna be it for this video I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next tutorial. So, yeah, bye.